artist, um, illustrator, graphic designer, um, art instructor, um, artist extraordinaire. Um, I've been um, active for about 20 years. I attended uh, the American Academy of Arts. Um, I graduated in the year 2005 with a bachelor's degree in multimedia web design. I have a history of graffiti in the city of Chicago and in North America. Um, I started doing graffiti or got involved with graffiti um, tangibly during the years of 1993 to um, 1997 or 1998. Um, 1998 is when I caught a case for that, for, for doing graffiti in the city of Chicago. Um, and actually, during that time, I was also doing a lot of four elements of hip hop stuff too. So I also used to rap and um, DJ, but I stopped doing that also and just focusing on um, visual arts and becoming a better visual artist, thus making me a better um, mural artist. Graffiti is an art style, is an art style, not vandalism, it's a style of art. But in court, it's criminal destruction to someone else's property right there, which means you can get fined, go to jail. Um, get a felony, I, 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 I have a felony for it because I was scratching on somebody's window. That I wasn't doing anything, any creative arts right there. I was just trying to destroy people's property and put my name up right there. That's, I was a, just a teenager at the time, right? Too. So I can show you graffiti is art because I'm an artist and I do graffiti, I do stuff with a graffiti aesthetic um, to it. It's like everything, right? And it's gonna wrap up your whole question in a nutshell. Yo, the art is all good as long as it's in proper context. Think about that. All right, well, uh, my name is Henry Gonzalez. My artist name is Gate One. I came up with that name in high school. It was uh, funny. It was one of my vocabulary words in, uh, I believe it was sophomore year of high school. I, I like what it meant. It meant to look at something with your mouth open like you're in awe, like you're amazed by it. And uh, right away, I liked that. I thought that'd be a cool name to aspire to. Be so good of an artist that uh, people look at your art and they look at you, they look at it like, wow. So I took the name Gabe and I tried to kind of live up to it. 100% Mexican. I am the first generation born in my family here in the United States. My father migrated here from Mexico in pursuit of a better life for him and myself and my family. And uh, in doing so, I didn't want to let him down. So all through school, I, uh, I applied myself. I did, I did good enough to, to get to, to succeed. Uh, when I went to college, I, met, I majored in computer engineering. I did uh, a program with St. Xavier, I went to St. Xavier for two years to take my basic courses and then from there I transferred over to IIT and I attained my bachelor's degree in computer engineering with a specialization in hardware design. So in 2010 when I left corporate America and became a full-time artist, I, uh, again, I picked up a tattoo machine and I got with our K crew who is an artist collective based here in Chicago and they're a bunch of really good artists. So I, uh, I, I got with them, I learned, I, I evolved with them, I learned with them, I, uh, I became a, a part of the unit. And uh, because of that, I feel I became a, a much better artist overall. And we want to promote ourselves because we want to be a voice, we want to be seen. We want the rest of the world to know, hey, we're here. And we don't like the fact that uh, government or, you know, basically the government puts up these advertisements, the billboards and stuff like that, and says, we can have this here, but I, yet I can't go and put my sticker there because I didn't pay them to do so. And I think that's bullshit. So, I like that graffiti writers go and put their names or their art wherever they want. Is graffiti vandalism? Uh, depends on where it is. Graffiti is writing on walls. And what makes it vandalism is if you have permission to write on that wall. And if you have a wall that has a bunch of gang graffiti on it and you paint a mural on it, is that vandalism? Because technically you didn't make the property worse, you made it better. You got rid of the gang graffiti and you put beautiful art on it. So, you know, this is really really what I had. It's, it kept me out of gang banging, man. Like, everybody in my family gang banged this shit. So, you know, that's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to live up to that shit. But I wasn't with that. So, you know, I fell into this graffiti shit and it kept me from doing that, you know. And then, you know, by the time I turned 18 was when I felt like I was invisible. You know, I could write on anything. My, my record was clear and shit. And then I, when I turned 19 and shit, I had caught a case, man. And that case just kind of fucked me up and shit. I did nine months. 
And then I just I just got out with shit. Now I'm just I'm back into the scene, you know, just trying to do my thing. Graffiti is not vandalism. It's more of an expression, man. It's more of just somebody trying to get their name out there, man. Like I, growing up and shit, you see all these people with fame and all this shit over some for some shit that doesn't matter, man. This is real art. This is real artistic shit. We're doing this shit. We're risking our lives. We're climbing shit. We're we're spending our money. Nobody pays us for this shit. We do this shit because we love it. We do this shit for a passion. We don't do it for nobody. We do it for ourselves. And that's why I do it, man, because it's for me, not for nobody. Hey, AKA Coyote Truck. Um, I'm a photographer here in Chicago. I do a lot of street photography, graffiti, uh, architecture, observations. Uh, basically, I roam around the streets and I take pictures all day. Uh, I grew up here in Chicago. Uh, I was born in the 70s and um, most of my teenage adult life was in the, in the 90s in the Humble Park. And that's where I was uh, kind of introduced to graffiti, looking at some other photographers, and I kind of came to realize that if I really dedicated myself, I could maybe show a little bit more than others, or uh, maybe I could uh, show people some things that they've never seen, something that's a little bit more, I guess, intriguing, because I found that it was, Instagram was just kind of like the, the best place to showcase your work. You know, sometimes you see something and you know that it's, it, it really caused somebody some pain and at the same time it caused somebody some pleasure. It's kind of weird, but it's definitely vandalism. You know, if it's not on a permission wall and somebody didn't pay a commission for it and somebody didn't like have the rush of violating or breaking the law, then it's not bad to me. My name is Damien. I'm an airbrush artist, a t-shirt printer, just all, all over artists in general, jack of all trades. But um, yeah, and I've been airbrushing for about like 12 years now. I grew up on the southeast side of Chicago, South Chicago area. I uh, went to school to Washington Elementary. I did one semester at the Amer American Academy of Art, but I just dropped out of that. I didn't want to continue. I feel like I didn't need a degree to do art because I'm just doing art anyways, either way. It depends on what you're doing because when I was a shorty, I started out vandalizing <laughs> pretty much. Like I said, it, it depends on what you're doing. I wouldn't say it's all vandalism because some of it is on commission. And she, I mean, I've had my, my garage sprayed a couple times and some of it looked dope. I wanted to keep it, but because it was gang related, I couldn't keep it. Hey, my name is Yasser. All right. All right. That's one CSU, Chicago, Illinois. Been riding since 1999. Um, been doing this. I'm not from Chicago, born and raised, but I've been around the United States and uh, Chicago's my home. I've been here for like 25 years. So it's all I've ever known. Started riding here in Logan Square, 99, and it's 99, 2019 now, so 20 years in the game. I mean, graffiti is graffiti. Graffiti is supposed to be, in its essence, the, the whole aspect of it is the But, you know, it has transitioned into something else. So you could have graffiti on the streets that isn't vandalism, you know? So graffiti, in its essence, it's not meant to be, you know, light. It's supposed to be sometimes disgusting. It's supposed to it's supposed to make you feel something. But graffiti, um, it, it influenced me. You know, I, I actually like it. You know, uh, you know, when you go in different neighborhoods in Chicago, you can you can see the different artwork that the artists do all around Chicago. And uh, some of some of it is good. Some of it is really nice. Um, some of it they can keep that shit, but I think I think it's good for the culture. You know, I, I ain't gonna never put down a culture. That's that's something that that's been around be, probably before I even was born. So, you know, for the people that does that that type of stuff, I think it's nice, man. And I think uh, they need to keep going with it. I like it. If if they don't have permission, I think if they don't have permission, you know, I think it might be vandalism. You know, like you know, if you write on people buildings without they consent, yeah, I mean, don't something like don't, don't write on my building if I got a building somewhere. You know, without without letting me know what you're doing, you know, I guess. But you know, if, I mean, but if you if it look nice, you know what I'm saying. If you put something nice up there, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying with the permission. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool.
That's your best way of just telling your story, telling who you are. It's the same way as poetry, same way as rap. And uh, I mean, if it's something like, you know, F the police, then yeah, it's probably is vandalism, but anything with a name or anything that say justice for somebody, that's, that's, that's expressions, that's, that's life. There's so much other stuff going on out here. Tagging is the least worried thing to be worried about. It's a beautiful thing. They should appreciate the, the, the art, the, the, the drawing, the, the artist, the person who is creating it, because he got a story to tell. What's up, y'all, man? I'm Slayer Body. I represent CSU crew from the north side of Chicago. All city, though, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the south side, west side, east side. We represent, you know, basically, man, graffiti was like the way out, you know, like, Especially in Chicago when everybody was everybody was just like, you know, selling drugs, game banging. I mean, drugs are around regardless because, you know, everybody got to get make money, you know what I'm saying? But back then it was real, it was real hectic. It was like you had to be part of the gang, you know, to like sell drugs on the block or whatever, you know. But graffiti was that other way, you know, it was like pick up the gun or pick up the can, you know what I'm saying, so. Man, it's like, a, it's a drive, you know, like, you have a bad day, it's like, fuck, man, I wanna spray some shit, you know, I gotta let some shit, I gotta let some steam out. People got different ways of letting, you know, getting their steam out or just getting to their, to their zone where they feel comfortable and like, one way for me was graffiti, you know? It started when I was about like 12, maybe 10, when I was like sixth, fifth grade. You know, it was it was it was dangerous, man. It's, I'm 23 now, so it's been about like 10 years. So I've been through some shit, man. You know, I actually I've been hospitalized for this shit. There was a moment in my life where uh, I got electrocuted, actually. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a spot. One of my bros got electrocuted. Long story short, got electrocuted, fell off the building. Thankfully, I didn't like crack no bones or nothing. I had a book bag on, landed on my bag. Same, it broke my fall. But pretty much, I had uh, I had electricity, the circuits running through my body. So like, two days later and shit, I had a seizure out of nowhere. I was at work, I had a seizure, I had to go to the hospital. I pretty much was hospitalized for like six months. Uh, like I said, my brain was swelling. You know what I'm saying? I had the circuits running through my body. Pretty much, doctor said I should have been dead. When people think of vandalism, they think of destruction of property. So like, when you look at what we're doing, is it like, is it destruction? Because it looks nice, you know. It's it's bringing it's bringing culture. So like the way we do it, it's not destruction. It's not really van it's not vandalism, man. It's the thing that people don't get is when they think of graffiti, they think of gang graffiti. It's the difference in the art. It's the difference in the style. It's just the difference in the culture. Like who's doing it and who's around it. It's not meant for destruction. It's meant to bring light into your day and just get the good out of people, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's like every day there's something wrong. So. What's wrong with seeing something night that nice that's gonna make you smile or just make you think of a memory? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's far from destruction. It, this is a this is a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? We do this shit, uh, legally and illegally. But illegally, sometimes we had some beef, man. We went to war a couple years ago, had to beat the shit out of a couple niggas, you know what I'm saying? Run niggas over, it is what it is though, it's part of the life. Man, everything's strategized when it comes to this. We ain't like no game, man, you're just going out looking to do some dumb shit. It's just plotted, you know what I'm saying? For instance, when you're doing trains, this crew's based off of doing fucking CTA trains, like class F shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? This is shit where, it's well thought out, you know what I'm saying? So that we don't get caught, class F shit, you know? And with this crew, man, everything's a process of actually doing your homework, you know what I'm saying? So that we never get caught with this. So like, we don't just go out all fucked up just to do some shit like, we ride around spots, you know what I'm saying? We we do our homework for a day, next day we destroy that bitch, you know what I'm saying? The lines, for a perfect example, right here, brother, right here, this is the blue line. We used to run this shit because we we're born and raised in Logan Square. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just all about study, bro. Like, if you if you ain't doing your homework when you're painting, 50-50, your chances are you might end up getting fucking locked up. So if you ain't plotting the right way, bro, chances are you'll get locked up. And I had a lot of times where I almost got locked up. So make sure you got your Jets on and your Nikes on. <laughs> it's vandalism. Honestly. But at the end of the day, man, you're expressing yourself. You know what I'm saying? Perfect example. 
My boy, A126 Amuse. This motherfucker was a vandal for years. Look what he turned himself into. Now these guys are worldwide artists, you know what I'm saying? It depends on how you treat the game. Some people are just pure bombers. Some people want to become artists and make some shit out of this. All right, Earl CSU. Oh uh, man, I fucking got into graffiti in like sixth grade. Um, I had older friends that were doing it. So yeah, they influenced me to do it kind of, you could say. And then I just kept it going, man. I'm 22 years old now. And I'm still writing, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? Chicago, Chicago stand up. Of course, it's vandalism, but at the same time, there's so much. I don't know. I just don't give a fuck. So I like to write on shit. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, it's vandalism for sure, man. Don't do it. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Get out there and do some graffiti, man. Put your name on shit. And you're here to live for a short time. Leave as much as you can behind, man. Earl, CSU.